this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Ugh. Easy, you They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Sorry for the technical issues. All right, Mr. Serene. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? I'm in a rush. Oh shit, we actually get to choose. We're ready for the movie. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Alright, so Serene chooses to trust Sophia and suspects Hatch is a traitor, or we can go with Hatch. And right, I'm wrong. Let's go I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those trumpets. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Hmm. To choose or not to choose? Hatch or not hatch? We know the truth is that Serene, he should choose Amaru to trust. But I kind of want to see what happens. Yeah, screw it. We're going to go with Hatch. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. 
We've already got a kill team after Boogie. We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Everybody's melting away. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. She had been here the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Yes. All right. You should have Serene Trust Martin Hatch. Community, 38% of the community agreed with your choice. Of course, because everyone knows the other choice. That's why I chose the better one. I hope you guys enjoy this choice. Thank you for watching. Let the movie begin. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. <sighs> Sophia, you shouldn't worry so much. Back up slowly. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. Paul's a very dangerous man. And things will only get worse if he continues unchecked. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A coronal disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. 
See, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather if he ever lost it. Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. The end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Good. I put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list, and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this it. entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm going to tell you why you're going to put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Five minutes out, Mr. Hatch. Okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah? I'm good. We need to get... Get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott. Yeah. Who's she? She's... Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Bell! Yeah. Gibson, I got Burr. Fiona! Fiona! Fiona, you gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on him and you kidnapped me! It's about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. there. 
nerves, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul. Paul. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! Jack. He wants me to become me. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush?
Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys, Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen, please. Please, please. Yes. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you what. It took me a fucking year. And like, if Mama, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. And Emily, you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you. One last time. Please. Louisa, this is me. It's me. It's me. Okay, we have to go. We have to go right now. Okay. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Alright guys, that was a pretty intense episode. Sorry guys, again, for the technical issues that we had. That The whole freaking downloading these episodes was a pain in the ass. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.